This is Pluto, a self-contained battery-powered modular chaos machine that is just begging to be plugged into a larger arsenal. This video is going to take us beyond the confines of this tiny device and get other gear involved. Just a quick note before we begin, this entire series is in no way sponsored. All the information in this series is either from the manual or from my own experience over the past year. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into connectivity. The first port here is the audio out port. It's very obviously a headphone port with a little volume dial on the side. However, you can actually configure this to output different left and right signals. So you can have sequence one going through the left channel and sequence two going out the right. We're gonna talk about that configuration mode later in this video. Next, we have an audio input port. This is gonna let you plug external instruments into Pluto and process their sound through Pluto's amazing effects. Hello. It's also going to come in handy for listen mode, where Pluto listens to the actual notes that you're running through it and builds scales for its sequencers using that. You can also use it to trigger things via audio. Next, we have a control voltage output. This one's kind of interesting. This is gonna output the notes from each of the sequencers on the tip or ring points of this output. It's really meant to send pitch information to instruments that require control voltage, say a Eurorack module. Now keep in mind, this is just note voltage and there's actually no gate signal that gets sent from the CV out point. For gate, use one of the five moon output points. You can also send this note information out via MIDI. MIDI, as you all know, is the universal synth connector. It's gonna send note data, it's gonna send tempo information. You're gonna need a TRS MIDI adapter to use this port. And I'd recommend something like a MIDI splitter to route MIDI signal to multiple external instruments. Because Pluto has two sequences and two voices, you can actually output two MIDI channels from Pluto. However, Pluto only accepts notes coming in from one MIDI channel. So you're not gonna be setting up individual melodies on other devices to then play through Pluto. Instead, think of it like this. You're giving Pluto a set of notes or maybe a chord to kind of play through. You're gonna get some really interesting results out of the notes that it decides are part of the chord you've just put in. Okay, so it is in the manual that you can actually send change control messages via MIDI into Pluto's individual note dials and change them that way, but to be very honest with you, that sounds like a huge pain. And if anyone gets this to work out there, let me know down in the comments. Now you can also use Pluto's USB-C port to sync it with your digital audio workstation and record MIDI data from Pluto into something like Logic or Ableton. You can also just synchronize tempo from Pluto to other instruments. So that's what this sync input is for. Most of the synths that I've owned have had this sort of sync port. You've got the tempo input on Mother 32, you've got the sync input on the Korg Volca. I would recommend using the moons for this because then you can clock divide and just have a lot more fun. Okay, so we touched upon USB-C for MIDI, but obviously it's used for charging as well. However, it's also used for loading in firmware updates. And there really haven't been a lot of those, but you know, if the time does come for maybe some extra effects or maybe some chord modes, I did say we'd get to this, but the configuration mode on Pluto is how you change a lot of the settings on the device, including setting the audio output to independent left and right channels. In here, you're gonna change the MIDI channel. And as I learned, the touchpad sensitivity. I had this weird issue where I would end up double triggering some of the touchpads, but by lowering the sensitivity, it took care of it immediately. So that's all of the connectivity on the back of Pluto and really how you're gonna get it connected to some of your other synths. Pluto is not gonna be your SQ64 MIDI sequencer type thing where you plug in melodies and then have those send out to other devices. It is an amazingly fun way to generate music. You can prompt it with a scale and maybe some tempo and then you just let it play and tweak it from there. I'm curious as to what you guys can create with Pluto. So if you have some kind of crazy patch that you made, put it in the comments below and maybe link to a video of yours. I've noticed that the Pluto community is rather small, so let's create some content and get others in the know as to what this really cool machine is. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this has given you a little bit of an idea as to what Pluto is all about, and I hope it's given you some insight into whether or not Pluto should be part of your desktop arsenal. If you are interested in learning a little bit more about the standalone capabilities of Pluto, check out my sound design video here. As always, keep the comments coming. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for being part of this channel. We'll catch you in the next one.